Okay, before we do our Edpuzzle video, let's look at the vocabulary that's going to be important. So we're going to add to our journal again. You've just done your writing in science. That may have taken you from page 7 to 8 or whatever that would be. We're going to put in our um, pay attention to, that's what PAT stands for, pay attention to PAT, Earth Cycles, vocabulary. Okay, so Pat Earth Cycles vocabulary. And you're going to come over here now after you have done your day and night and seasons and you've taken your pictures and you've uploaded it. I think for me it's page nine and it may go to ten but we're just going to start out with nine and I'm going to put Pat for pay attention to Earth Cycles Vocab. I like to shorten that, which is fine. Um, I have gotten some emails that some of you like to do your notes differently. If it's more, that's fine. Um, but everyone, bare minimum, has to have your definitions written down for these words. So let's look at the uh, words that are important um, you have on here. First of all, you're going to need to know these words. So you would do axis, equator, tilt, um, rotation, revolution, you see the idea, all of them coming down. So um, as you're watching this next Edpuzzle video, you're going to know what are some key words that are going to be really important for me to know. So rotation, revolution, direct and indirect sunlight, summer, winter, spring, fall, sometimes they call autumn, and then we have equinox and solstice. So whenever you get ready, um, after you watch the video, you are then going to go to the uh, Stemscopedia, which is the little pink folder in Stemscopes, and there's going to be a rotation revolution reading. When you read, you're then going to define the terms in your journal here, and you're also going to put a little sketch to help you remember what that word is. So you'll put a little sketch in here also. So you may want to leave some more room. But you need to know that these are the terms that you want to listen for even when you watch the Edpuzzle video. So you will go through and you will watch Edpuzzle that's been assigned. Um, and then you'll be ready to do your reading and your definitions. And all of those will need to be done by the next class period.